My name is Lucky Susu. This is my first time to come to this church. I am released from the prison. I want to thank God for what the prophet have already done in my life. It happens like this. I'm a Webiro pusher in my 12th market. Webiro in the market, when people buy a load, I will carry the load to the bus stop. Some give me 100 naira, some will give me 150, 200, just like that. So 2008, on the 9th of December, I brought some ba two bags of rice and some tuba of yam to the bus stop. Across the tarmac, there are some people gathering at the other side. So I cross down there to look what is happening. It's an old woman that moto hit on the ground. She is bleeding. I begin to shout that, ah, you people should rush this woman. They said that the moto who jammed the woman and ran away. That don't mean that it's Lagos. I feel for the woman. I said, okay, let me save the life of the woman. I went and take the money that I've already suffered to work, to manage with my family, to take a taxi and rush the woman to one clinic at Ojota. On my way reaching to the hospital now, the woman died in the hospital. Then the doctor called the police and they arrested me. They charged me for moderate case. Last week, one man came to the prison on Friday. When he came, he, he's, he's putting on one uh, rubber uh, bracelet uh, on his hand from TV Joshua. Yeah. Then I explained myself to the man that I did not steal you. I did not keep anybody bed. They kept me here. He should be putting me in prayer. Then the man said that this um, band that is in his hand is from the synagogue of all nations, that I should hold his hand. One of the 15 people I've given to, the person quickly called me. You see, see the wise men, they always wear it, pray with it. We call it faith bracelets, the country of faith. If I'm not here now, I will be busy with it. If I'm not here. If I'm inside the vehicle, if I'm sitting down like you, if I'm the one sitting down now, I will be busy with it. You see me sitting down busy with it. Why talking to you? The divine nature of me is busy. Why Mr. TV Joshua will be talking to you? Why the divine nature will be busy? Can't face. Because a break in faith is breaking God. So, that time I did for Mazimo prison for Ekoi. So, they call transfer me, come out from there, go keep for, there they keep all those robbers and all those when they won't carry go past judgment for their head. On my mind, you see, and I then I'm my own dove pass finish. So, as smooth that prayer, pray that prayer finish. The prayer when I call pray for my mind, now I call to say, God of TB Joshua, if you read they are alive and I owe that um, bracelet, say, I need, say, if you say you read they are alive and you, you they read they walk, make you remove me from this problem when I did so. Say, because I did innocent. When I don't pray the prayer finish, I call wait the even. When I won't sleep on night, I call remake the prayer again. Then, for night, when I sleep, the man of God appeared to me for inside dream. Now he tell me to say, my piki, the cry when you cry, say God don't hear him, say you did innocent. It's to make I keep on they do the good when I do so. It's to make I not take and say I don't suffer. Say me, they go ask the next day. That was on Tuesday breaking Wednesday morning last week. So around something after three, time though they go for, I call they hear my name for gate, of okay susu, of okay susu. On my mind they say, they won't carry me, go key. I call they go hide to inside lab battery. I call begin cry. The call call draw me, come outside, go. Say, I not get keys to answer. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. So, as they leave me when I call reach outside, I call take leg, till they come towards Oh, show the. When I reach here, I call to explain myself to one woman. The woman can't give me 150 naira. 
Now I can't take the money. I can't keep on. Now I take transport. Go reach here this morning. When I reach here, I wear the clothes that when I wear for inside prison before. Now they day inside this bag. When I wear for prison before. I reach there. May they let me go inside. They don't let me go inside. Okay, may they still let me go where people they enter for that big trampoline for yonder. They don't let me to go inside. Uh, let's see the cloth you wear here from the prison. See the clothes there, yeah. We did see past. Now the year before. So, as I call reach there now, they don't drive me like that. I call go sit down for that red gate when they decide. I call sit down there, I call they cry. I said they cry. This morning, one brother call call me. Say, why you they cry? I call explain to the brother. The brother calls me, I follow around, call follow around. He carry me enter inside the, the red gate, go inside. They call give me soup. With water, so make I not cry again. So make I go bath. Call carry me go the bedroom. I call bath. As I bath finish, I the one wear these straws are back. Nine one man when they they call tell me to say the brass say I bath me man wait for the bedroom. Say they come just now. I call wait. I just did they never even reach fifteen minutes. The brass call come. He go buy me new straws, new shirt. The with same new man. The same man. Yes. Uh, do you know the man? No. But if you see him, you know him. Yes. yes. You go and look for him. The man can give me 500 naira. I did my answer. So, so make I put him for inside my pocket. Say, man, not the day without money for pocket. So make I hold on to the case. I won't buy anything. You listen to what he said. He said he was just coming from prison with that dirty wears. On getting here, no one wants to record with him. They asked him to go and stay outside. He said, suddenly, a man just came and said, ah, what happened? Why are you looking like that? Are you mental? He said, no, he's from prison. The man took him, bought him a soap, took him to the bedroom, bathed him, get him money, buy him clothes, new clothes for him, give him money, carry him inside the church. I think this man needs to be encouraged. I don't know the man, but we need to see the man. He said, while he was in the prison, he said, last week here, a man just walk into the prison. He doesn't know whether he's one of the warder or one of the preacher that preach to the prisoner. And uh, he just encountered the man. And the man said, oh, what happened? Why are you sitting quietly in a job shop? And he, the, he was able to narrate the story to the man. This is the reason why I'm in here. I, I'm innocent. And the man said, yes, this bracelet with me. I want you to pray with me. Let me remove it, put it in your hand, and pray with you. Just ask for your release. Ask God to reveal to them, authority, the cause of your stay here, why you are here, so that they can know the truth. You will be released. He, he, he remove it, he wore it, pray with the man, and immediately. He said that night after the prayer, he saw a vision, and a man came to him and said, look, you will be released. The second day, he said the authority came and they called his name out. That is how he was released. And immediately he was released, he has to come to Senegal to come and share this testimony. That, hey, I've never been to Senegal. I don't know a place called Senegal. But immediately he was released. He asked people around that, where is the Senegal? Where is this? But the man that gave the bracelet could not wait. He just have to leave. Because I know the man is going out everywhere to deliver people with the message because he said, okay, maybe the man will be seeing it on the man at TV now, that this man is out. So now, he came here. On getting here, with the uniform he, he wore, in front of the shop, people were running for him because he looked tatter. So somebody just came and said, look, look why are you standing somewhere? Are you my mentor? You want to go to my jersey? That is how the man rescued the situation, get him money to buy soap, took him to the bedroom, wash him, get him a new dress, give him money for feeding. Can you go and look for the man, please? Take him out and look for the man. Bring the man forward, look, please. He said he doesn't know the man, but when he see the man, he know. Let us see the man. Wow.
So we can still see a good Samaritan like this. If God is aware of your situation, your situation will not kill you. But prepare you. Tell your neighbor, if God is aware of your challenges, your challenges will not destroy you. But prepare you. Your challenges could be prison, could be temptation of any kind. Such a situation may be allowed to strengthen your desire and your determination for God. If God is involved, who is involved does not matter. Tell your neighbor, if God is involved, who else is involved does not matter. So, brother, continue your goodness. Huh? Hey! Rise up! Glory, glory! Wow! Is it the man? Glory be to God. Il lui donnait parfois 100 naira ou 200 naira pour aider. Il a dit qu'un jour, alors qu'il poussait sa brouette au marché en l'année 2008, il a vu une femme au sol en l'emmenant à l'hôpital. Il a été arrêté depuis l'année 2008. Il a dit que grâce à Dieu, un homme est venu dans la prison portant le bracelet loin que l'homme de Dieu donne aux gens. Et c'est là qu'après avoir pris avec ce bracelet qu'il est sorti de prison. Et aujourd'hui, nous le voyons ici à la synagogue, église de toutes les nations. Who is this? Now, the man who buy the clothes, give me. Is the one that buys soap? Yes. Wash you? Yes. Give you clothes? Yes. And give you money? Yes. Brother, where did you see this man? Is it your brother? No, sir. I saw him at the gate where he was crying. So he looked so dirty and everything. I called him and uh, listened to him and asked him, why are you, why are you like this? He told me that he, he was released last week from the prison. And because of the way he looked like, they don't want him to enter inside the church. I said, okay, you should follow me. If that should be the case. So I have to take him to the lavatory. And he bath and uh, I now give him a, a, that is a, give him a cloth to change. So you, that you, he bought, can, you bought him a cloth? Yes, sir. You bought him soap? Yes, sir. And you waited there till he finished bathing? Yes, sir. And uh, what else again you did? I just carry him and bring him inside the church, sir. What is your, your purpose of doing this? Daddy, we need to, that is to follow your footsteps. You know, it's uh, one of the head of security. It's one of the head of the security, one of the head. If this one has surplus and is one of the head of security, he will do charity with it. He will be given the needy a lot. While he's doing the job there, he gives financial support and all of that. Wow. I will pray what you are doing now shall be permanent. Ah, you must have been doing this because this one is too obvious. That is why we are aware of it. You must have been doing it for so long. I know this, brother. He was, he's, he's really he's pushing by right in our market for so many years. You know, I've not seen, you know who? I know this guy. He knows he's a very quiet guy. He's pushing by real people by Lord or Yam. See, we have them to carry it. So, since so many years, I've not seen him. I thought he relocated. I didn't know he was in prison. 
You are heard it from the woman coming out from the midst of the congregation, testifying that what this man is saying is nothing but the truth, that in the same market, the man mentioned at my 12, that they knew him at the market as someone who uh, pushed local trolley to carry load for people. And when they did not see him after, it, after some time, they thought that he had relocated to another market, not knowing that he was in the prison. We are still coming back to that. Let's settle the good Samaritan. So what this uh, security have done now is telling the gentleman that he, he should not stop doing good. Because of what has happened to him, he should not stop. Don't stop doing good. Because God is aware of what happened to him. Let's talk about this man first. Because what he did now, assume he has not taken effort to buy this, to buy that, to clothe the man, to take him to the bathroom, and to wash him. How would, we, there, there's no way we can see this man today. He will not be able to come inside. We will not be able to talk today about the predicament this man, a lesson we learn. I think for your charity, the ministry have to begin to establish people like this. What we are even planning to do, instead of this, our ministry to be doing it, we want to have a kind of apostolic people. Apostolic. If you are one of the apostolic, whatever ministry can give you, you will also be doing charity. And every year we assess how far you have gone in charity. The ministry can also give you money, some form, to be doing your charity there. I think this month will be given five million to be started the charity. That you immediately, because of position, the area, where what is doing there as a security, there are many sick people that could not come. There are many sick people when they get here, they are too sick, they cannot come in. Some people, after the healing, they don't have money to go home. Not all of them can reach us, but security there is there to quickly help. Immediately, get that check written and let us give testimony and let the world see. Five million era. And not only that, we want to know you that is doing charity, where are you living? Are you living comfortably? I mean, I'm very happy. And uh, we people of God, we are very happy to see a man like this in the house of God working for God. Not working for his pocket. Wonderful. All over the world, we want to have you over there. If you are into charity, what can we do to support you? and to showcase your case to the world. And I can be visiting you all over the world when you, are, you want to launch this charity. We want to do it in a big way. Scholarship given to the South children. Supporting the widow and help the needy all over the world. And give a scholarship to the best candidate that are deserving. And yes, rescue them. Children, little children kidnapping. Rescue them. Go all the way to help the mankind. So that is it. If you don't let this man know that it's good to do good, irrespective of what comes, he will not do good again. Because he has seen pain. He has seen affliction in doing good. But we are saying, no. No. Nothing can break me. Nothing can separate me from doing good. Stand up and tell your neighbor, nothing can separate me from doing good can affliction, can affliction, condemnation, evil death, what can separate you from doing good? Say nothing, 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 nothing. You may be seated. Many, when they begin to recast their experiences in doing good in the past, they will tell you that they would never do good again. No. Nothing can separate me from doing good. Can affliction? Can poverty? Imprisonment? 
what? Infirmity? Nothing can separate me. Because Jesus is good. All the time. So, now, brother, continue doing good until death. Then, when you see the light at the end of the tunnel, tell your neighbor, continue doing good to then when you see light at the end of the tunnel, so I want to look at the picture of what is happening to our security personnel, personnel out there. This is the similar thing that is happening. And I know Revelation is coming. So I want you to appreciate what they are doing. This brother come here to prove to you that, look, there is godliness in them. There is care. There is love. Please support them. Anytime you come, Try to understand that they have many people to attend to. Don't begin to look at them. Just talk to them anyhow. You have to be patient. They need patience. They need that endurance from you. They need perseverance from you. You have to persevere. You have to be patient because you have thousands of people they attend to. It's not only you. If you just come to them, be patient, patient, patient. Don't be in hurry. If you are in hurry, meet them, you may find them very tough. It's nature. So appreciate what they are doing. This is one out of thousand now that is going on. There are many, many they have done. So please, my message to you once again. What you have passed through as it should be by divine way. They were not to destroy you. They were not to kill you. But to prepare you. Look at where you are today. Take this message from me. Tell your neighbor what you are passing through. As it should be. By divine way. They are not to kill you. They are not to destroy you, but to prepare you. To prepare you for the challenges ahead. Ask any great leader, they will tell you what they went through. Read about the apostles in the Bible you will see clear that they saw darkness. That was why they were able to maintain the good day, the heart that made them apostles. Experience is the best teacher. So thank you very much. Thank you. Opposite is the case now. What you are expecting the prophet to give to someone who is testifying of prison now given to a good Samaritan. What does that mean to you? Me, there is journey ahead. He still have some journey to pass through before he begin to experience that comfort he's expecting. He said he was pushing the trolley. I was pushing the trolley in the past. The market is talking about I was there in the past. Those who have read some story about me, it was in the midst of all this that the Lord took me to the place where he can use me. You have seen during the service that the man of God addressed the issue of the brother that was in the post of security service helping the needy. They meet thousands of these people during the course of their duty. People in needy come to the post, security post, asking for help. 
So we see the good work he has done today by helping that man who was stranded. And man of God said live that he has taken the promise to bless this man with this check of five million naira to encourage him, to support him, to continue to do the good work. The Bible says the works of charity and works of righteousness, they go together. So when the man of God saw that, now he encouraged his brother by giving him, as he promised, that check of five million naira to encourage him to continue the good work in the ministry of charity to help the needy. Thank you, Jesus. So viewers all over the world, partners all over the world, this is the contribution the man of God promised to give him that check of five million naira. Brother, I hand over the check from the prophet to encourage you for the good work. Five million naira check. Praise the Lord. My name is Chus Onwago from Security Department, Synagogue Church of All Nations. I thank God today for the man of God promise to give me a check of five million for the work of charity. I have never expected this. I was just discharging my duty as I normally do. I never knew that this kind of blessing we fall upon my life today. I give God the glory. For... And I, I promise God Almighty that this, the work of charity that I normally do on my duty post, I will continue. I will not cease. Even at point of my duty, I will make sure that I reach to the need. So I give God glory for appreciating my effort. I thank God Almighty.